my way here last week, uh, I stopped by the house before I was going to come here and walked in and uh, found my apartment had been broken into, and so that's why uh, I wrote this. <laughs> He came in through the back room window, kicked air conditioner over bookcase that sent the Chinese statuettes, Rolling Stones, Kafka, Kerouac, Cobb, and candles crashing onto a hardwood canvas of shattered glass frames and fractured figurines. The two cats I'd like to think took turns thrashing his horrid eyes with their two sharp talons, though when I finally uncovered their hiding place holes, they shook with porcupine fur and stared out with wide-eyed wonder at this four-walled world where once they had felt as safe as lions on the plain. They now retire each afternoon to those hiding place holes, their confidence dissolved in the assurance of security once provided by me, their keeper. And now, I imagine if this is the same or similar sinking feeling, at least in some small semblance, to that sorrow striking to the heart of the creator when we look to the heavens with that same wild-eyed worry from our own holes meant for hiding. And now, Bring on the rakes and the brooms and the dustbins. Clear out the battered remains of that pristine shrine of glass draped snapshots, deer, beer, gripped books, mom's symphonic beetles, and platters vinyl, all of which are clustered into an incomprehensible clump of shards and splinters brushed neatly onto their grisly grave, a ghost town of our pinion memories, hair sprayed, rose petals, lucky pennies, and filing cabinet of life's little keepsakes, momentary mementos. Well, somewhere. Out back, beyond the busted window of his entrance, away from the alley whence he came, there is a solitary stranger, the smoky embers of his footprints still hovering beside our bed being the only image that we have, the lone glimpse of himself that we were given, probably sitting cross-legged atop some rusty-framed and stained mattress in a flop house on Broadway, catching a medium nod behind the dumpsters of some dark lot, or perhaps even wandering across the once comforting carpet of his next unsuspecting host's home, staring at their wedding photos as they fall from wall to floor, seeking out whatever it is that he seeks so that he might feel whatever it is that he hopes to feel. And I pray to that great God above observing my tentative motion as I peer out from my little hole that he will lay this unseen stranger tonight with a wrathful hand, will sweep him up into the mass of shattered, splintered clutter at the edge of some sidewalk along Wilson Avenue and wash him with a good hard rain down the gutter to a potter's grave of shit and filth and worthless waste of life where he belongs. That great garbage disposal of toilet waste, whipping men to the whirlpools of pull down, 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 and further still until each breath is choked with the lung clogging, burning helplessness of drowning, drowning, drown, 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 motherfucker! <laughs>